Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. Uh, in today's video, well, I'll tell you what. Um, not too long ago, I was, uh, you know, we got this computer retailer that's not too far from here. And uh, sometimes on the weekends I go there and I just walk through the aisles to see what they got. You know, see what catches my attention, you know, just to see what's happening out there. And uh, they have this one section set aside for, yep, wait for it, Raspberry Pi. But uh, usually it was usually uh, pretty empty. Uh, for obvious reasons, there was a uh, supply chain issue with Raspberry Pi, so that it was quite a while when it was pretty hard to get one of these. But when I walked by, they had like six or eight of these uh, Raspberry Pi 400s. Yeah, so I uh, scooped one of these up right away because, you know, how could you not fill one of these down? I mean, basically, like it just says, it's a personal computer. It's a personal computer in a keyboard. Come on. So it's worth giving it a try. So like I said, I scooped it up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to open the box and see what's inside. So let's get to it. Hi, I'm Marty. If you want to watch more videos like this, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you won't miss anything. Yeah, in all its glory, the Raspberry Pi 400. Personal computer, all in a keyboard. I want to make sure you can see the specs, so I'm going to toss up some images here so it's easier to read. In short, a quad-core 64-bit processor, wireless networking, dual display, and, yep, yeah, you're reading that right, 4K video playback. And over here, just to make sure you can see it, there are some uh, important... Uh, specs here that you'll want to know. Yeah, I get it. So the size of the box uh, give the images if you're looking at it from the side. Here's the keyboard side. And the other side of the box will uh, show you the ports. So we're going to get this box opened. I don't see any uh, tamper seals. The cover here just slides off. And here it is, the Raspberry Pi 400. Let's look at that again a little bit slower. Wait, is it just me? Uh, I didn't see any user guide. The Pi 400's got some weight to it. It feels good in the hands. The keys themselves feel solid and smooth. Okay, so looking at the back of the uh, Pi 400, let's remove this cover and we have the horizontal 40 pin GPIO header, micro SD slot, two micro HDMI ports, power and two 3.0 uh, USB and one 2.0 USB. Ethernet. Looks like some venting ports. I point out the Raspberry Pi logo. We've got some rubber pads here to keep it stable on a desktop. Okay, these two aren't rubber. So let's uh, get this thing booted up. This micro SD card has the uh, Raspberry Pi OS image. I've used this Raspberry Pi image in another uh, Raspberry Pi, so it's good to go. Insert it into the slot. Now connect the uh, HDMI cable. Going to connect the official Raspberry Pi mouse to a USB port. Next, let's uh, connect the power. And we're good to go. Let's power this up. By the way, if you are enjoying this video and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button below. Ah, here we are. Welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop.
All right, you know what we're going to do is we're just going to run through a few of the apps just to see how it performs. Of course, we're uh, opening up the web browser. And I can't think of a better place to start browsing the web other than the Raspberry Pi website. And you know what? Right here, here's the Raspberry Pi 400. We can always read up on it if we want to. You know, the response is good. So let's try something else. Let's go to Google. Okay, okay, someone's having a birthday today. Google's uh, 25th year. Let's try out a word processor and let's see what we can do here. I'm going to just type a quick phrase here. And again, like I said, the keys feel comfortable. Okay, I'm going to load the imager. Looks good. Response is good. And let's have a look at recommended software. Overall, the uh, Raspberry Pi 400 is performing fine. It's adequate. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, please be sure to leave them below. And as always, thank you.